Five Durham men killed in shootings and stabbings this summer will be honored in a vigil later today. Organizers hope the remembrances will result in less violence in the city. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson's live in Durham at the site of this vigil that's scheduled for later this afternoon, I believe. Robert, tell us more. That's right, Stefan. It's at 5.30, and the Religious Coalition for a Nonviolent Durham hopes that this will lead to an end to the violence in this city. They hope that people will pack this lawn outside the Shepherd's House United Methodist Church here in Durham, and they're going to recognize five men killed in separate incidents this summer. The series of violence started in late June and continued through the middle of July. Donald Field Sr. died from stab wounds. Police say that he suffered those wounds at the hands of his son, Donald Fields Jr. Reginald Carter died two days later, shot to death at the Amber Oaks apartment complex. And just two days after that, on June 30th, Reginald Cole died in a deadly shooting at another apartment building. Investigators arrested a suspect in that case two months later. Shootings continued into July. A drive-by shooting on July 10th took the life of 19-year-old Andre Bond. Police say that that shooting did not appear to be random. And one week later, Jamie Daniels, a pastor at Durham Divine Grace Worship Center was shot and killed on Dunbar Street. And the Religious Coalition for Nonviolent Durham say that they hope that this vigil will offer comfort to the family and friends of victims and be a demonstration of the support for peace in this community. Once again, the vigil starts here at the Shepherd's House United Methodist Church on the corner of Driver and Main at 530. Reporting live in Durham, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.